Hey guys, Tyler with Sunti Arms. We're here today to kick off a video series that is really near and dear to the core values of what Lucenti Arms Co. stands for, and that's quality, transparency, and really raising standards within the night vision industry. So this video series is Test Equipment Tuesday, and we're here to bring you a series of videos over the course of 2022 on Tuesdays about night vision test equipment. Night vision test equipment is something that typically remains behind the scenes, but is an integral factor in night vision manufacturing process and is something that is absolutely needed and cannot be with go without to, for true night vision manufacturers, whether that be maintenance, building systems, testing, and everything in between. So to kick this off, we're going to start in the best way that we know how, which is the Mac Daddy of test equipment, the Hoffman Engineering ANV 126 Alpha. So when you hear night vision test equipment or a test set, really what they're referring to is this. Even though it looks like it's a small, simple box, this thing is packed with loads of capability for a technician when assembling, maintaining, or testing night vision optical devices, whether that be complete systems or tubes. This here is really the, the baseline of that everything else works off of. It's a modular system. It's something that has multiple different other components to it, adapters, different things that complement the capabilities of this device. But this is the base, the basis of getting started and really being able to test and maintain systems and manufacture systems in the appropriate way. So like we said, this is the AMV 126 Alpha by Hoffman Engineering. This is the most advanced test set on the market and is used from everybody from small night vision manufacturers all the way up to L3 Harris and Elvis Systems of America for those that are actually doing it correctly. This system allows users to test everything from tube quality to system resolution to collimation for goggles, set diopter, set infinity focus, and everything that's needed when building a night vision optical device correctly. So as you can see, there's a lot of importance that comes down to having test equipment. And one thing that we are all about at Lucenti Arms is raising standards, increasing transparency, and really looking out for the customer when it comes to investing your money. Whether that's a government client, an LE client, or a commercial client, all of those customers, all the same, have need to have the due diligence and deserve the right to understand how a system was made, where it was produced at, who produced it. And unfortunately, the night vision industry is kind of really a lot of uh, smoke and mirrors, unfortunately, with a lot of companies coming in and leaving the space and not a lot of companies really being transparent about, are they building systems in-house? Are they sourcing systems from other people and other companies and how those systems were built? And like we said at Lucenti Arms, we believe the transparency on our systems and transparency in the industry does nothing but strengthen the industry as a whole. So with that, we put it at our top priority to invest and continually invest in state-of-the-art test equipment so our systems can be as absolutely as built to the highest standard that they can possibly be built at. Not only building systems, but also testing tubes. When we get tubes that come in from L3 Harris or Elbit Systems of America, we order those tubes to a certain spec, and that spec is what we then go and advertise to the customer. Well, one thing that's very important is to make sure that the customer is actually getting those specs. And not that L3 Harris or Elbit Systems of America is really uh, doesn't produce top quality goods because they absolutely do, but we want to take that a step further with our quality control and test those. So from bringing tubes in to the very first step of when we bring tubes in, we test them and we test them on this A&B 126 Alpha. All the way until once tubes are tested, they're assured that they meet spec and that they're going to go into a system that we build and we manufacture. We go from tube testing all the way to building the systems on this, on this Hoffman ANV 126 Alpha. So to go over some basic capability of, of what this can do, starting on the tube side, this gives us the ability to, with various um, adapters and things like that that we'll go into in other segments, but to give you just the top-down overview of what we can do with this system and why it's important, bringing tubes in, we're able to test tubes for both spot spec, system resolution, and uh, make sure that those meet the standards in which that we ordered from L3 or Elvit. Once tubes are tested, then they go into in, to inventory that we know all those tubes meet the spec in which we had ordered and that they're ready to be built into systems. Then, when we're ready to build systems to send out to a customer, whatever that configuration is, we still use the same ANV 126 to then go assemble the units 
and then test and configure those units so they're set properly for the end user and to spec and how they should be done. So now going on to the systems, this does everything from setting correct diopter, which is setting the prescription, the ocular lens, so it's set correctly for true zero diopter, so then you can turn that to the prescription of your eye. Setting infinity focus, collimation for goggles, and going and testing all different types of system resolution and spot spec even after we've tested those initially. So everything from tubes to systems are tested multiple times, and what gives us the ability to do that is to have an objective standard that we can hold true within the test set. How that works is there's multiple different reticles down in this system used for different things, things like testing spot spec, testing system resolution, setting infinity focus, setting diopter. So we use various different reticles to the task at hand, and we use different pieces of equipment that attach to this base test set or um, go in conjunction with it to then do the task at hand. But the AMB 126 is the basis of it all. It's the Mac Daddy, and what's nice about the AMB 126 that a lot of people don't realize is you look at legacy test sets, like a TS 3895, they are not set up appropriately to accurately test white phosphor. The AMB 126 Alpha was something that was uh, developed with, in conjunction with the two manufacturers, L3 Harris and Elbit Systems of America, when that transition from green phosphor to white phosphor was made. So maintainers and technicians were able to accurately test white phosphor. The reason is, is light levels need to be different and there's different settings on this that we use to test a white phosphor system than say a green phosphor system. So the ability to uh, control the light levels on this, on this device and on this test set is really important and it just increases the degree of accuracy and the level of quality control that we can have as manufacturers and as technicians when we're servicing or building a device. Also the reason that the AMB126 shines is the modularity and the breadth and the standardization in which this system is. What's nice about this is when we test say a PBS31 Alpha, we're testing that PBS31 Alpha on the same system that L3 Harris is testing their PBS31 Alpha on. So there's, no, so there's an objective standard that the night vision industry can use when communicating things like certain specs and system, system requirements that the end users need or uh, devices are ordered off of. So that level of just objectivity, it really takes a lot of the guess and check out of it. What's nice is, is this system also allows us to uh, use different camera systems to take human error out of it. A lot of uh, times that people are using test sets without certain pieces of equipment, there is, there is a degree of, uh, of human error and human subjectivity, but with the Hoffman system that we use as a whole, it takes that out, further pushing standards and letting our systems and our processes be as good as it can get. So we hope that this is something that, uh, a series that you really find helpful and something that just adds a level of transparency to what Lucenti Arms Co. is doing the level that your system is built to and the quality and the attention to detail behind the scenes because the unfortunate truth is guys, most night vision companies aren't doing it right. And one thing that we hold true is that level of transparency and the ability to, for us to help push the standards of the industry. And we think it's important for using test equipment people that are buying from other suppliers on a dealer basis to know that the person that they're buying from is using test equipment. Because again, the unfortunate truth is there's some big name companies out there that arguably aren't using test equipment. And that's provable because of objective standards that the Hoffman, that the Hoffman uses. So with this series, we really want to welcome all night vision companies out there to participate in Test Equipment Tuesday show what test equipment you're using, how it impacts your quality, and really how you're pushing standards with it because together and really showing transparency and raising those standards, we can make a stronger industry. And ultimately, a stronger industry is going to benefit the customer, and ultimately that just means that the customer gets a better product. So this is Test Equipment Tuesday. This is our first segment. This is over the Hoffman Engineering AMB 126 Alpha, and I'm Tyler with Lucenti Arms.